McGee, and uh, thank you very much for uh, ASUM and the other organizations that have put this together this evening. And it's a great opportunity to get a chance to hear from your candidates. Uh, my name is Chuck Graham. I'm the sitting state senator for Boone and Randolph counties, uh, which of course includes the university. And I'd like to thank everybody for the opportunity for the last four years uh, to be able to serve you in Jefferson City. Uh, I serve on the education committee. I'm the former appropriations chairman uh, for education in the House. And in 2001, when I was chairman, uh, we provided MU with its largest budget uh, to date. What's unfortunate is that we haven't gotten back to the days uh, when we're properly funding higher education. But I hope that we'll have an opportunity to enhance that as we move forward into the next several years. I uh, sponsored a bill uh, to build the uh, MU Mizzou Arena, uh, which was successful, and I hope you enjoy that venue. Uh, also was able to put money into the budget to start the wheelchair athletic program. I think you probably met some of the students who play that sport, and they're doing a great job on this campus. Uh, I was also the sponsor of the uh, MU Student uh, Curator Bill to give the students a vote on the Board of Curators. Uh, I think that it is past time for the university uh, to give the student a vote on the Board of Curators. Uh, we successfully got 31 votes in the Senate, uh, more than 100 in the House. Unfortunately, Governor Blunt vetoed that bill. Uh, but if I'm reelected, I will certainly bring that bill back up. And I think we can put it on another governor's desk and hopefully we'll finally get that signed. You know, tuition makes up a greater portion now of the university's budget than state support. If we're going to put the cost of the university's operations on your backs, and I think you deserve at least one vote on the Board of Curators, and it's about time that we did that. Um, <laughs> I'll be a staunch defender of academic freedom. I will not let the legislature uh, interfere in what we are teaching here on this campus. And as always, I vow to protect, defend, and enhance the University of Missouri. Thank you. I am really torn about this next statement. As someone who has sat at this table, I know how important it is to have response from the audience. But at least for the opening statements, I'd like to ask you to hold your applause so that we can uh, move on to the questions and everyone will have enough time to give their opening statements fully. So sorry if I deprived the rest of you, but applause lines. <laughs> Kurt Schaefer. Thank you. Again, thank you to ASUM for having us this evening. It's a great forum. Um, I am an alum of the University of Missouri. I'm a 1990 graduate. My wife and I both graduated from the University of Missouri. Um, we have three kids, a 10-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 3-year-old, who were already saving for their college education so that they can attend uh, Mizzou as well. I'm a former Assistant Attorney General for the State of Missouri. I'm a former Special Prosecutor, Criminal Prosecutor, and Environmental Prosecutor for the State of Missouri. And I'm a former Special Assistant U.S. Attorney. I'm also the former Deputy Director and General Counsel of the Department of Natural Resources. I'm currently a partner at the law firm of Lathrop & Gage, which is the oldest law firm in the United States west of the Mississippi. And my law practice is mostly energy and environment law, but I represent a lot of doctors, a lot of hospitals, a lot of farmers, and a lot of agricultural operations. I've spent about half my legal career in the public sector. And I've lived in Columbia since 1983 when I came here as a freshman at age 17 with the exception of time that I spent in Vermont when I was getting my law degree and my master's degree in environmental law. And I'm running for the Senate because we can do better for this district. There is no doubt about it. Now, Senator Graham and I may agree on one thing, and that is academic freedom, because I absolutely agree scientific ethical debate should be between scientists. It should be up to the academic community on what is peer-reviewed and appropriate to be taught, not to politicians. But I think our disagreement, or our agreement, ends there. Because what Senator Graham didn't tell you is that in the 2003 fiscal year budget, that he and the majority Democrats in the General Assembly, who had the majority at that time, and Governor Holden, cut $100 million from the university's budget, the largest cut it ever experienced. We are still paying for that. In the last three years, funding for the university has increased approximately $100,000, but we are still paying for that. The other thing that he didn't tell you is that in 2006, he personally caused the loss of $85 million for a new health sciences center for this university. And it was well publicized that we know that he filibustered and what he did to kill that legislation. But no one in this room should ask themselves what he did to kill it. You should all ask yourselves what was done to bring that money to this district. Because the answer to that question is nothing. 
And that is absolutely, absolutely unacceptable for this university, and I will never let that happen. We can never play political Russian roulette with the funding for this university. Thank you, Thank you very much. Mary Still, 25th District. I'm Mary Still, and I'm running for state representative as a Democrat in the district where you are sitting right now.